Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Wizard 101 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So, at the end of the last episode, I said uh, we'd be looking, taking a look into the unblocking or unlocking the truth quest. It's a little thing to do for Diego that is um, meant to introduce you to the uh, keys mechanic. There's wooden keys, stone keys, gold keys, but I'll let Clortho explain the rest of that. After we get this little, little bit uh, taken care of, we'll get back to the main story of taking care of Cyclops Lane. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Clortho real quick. Uh, we're going to ignore Harold over here. That is, his quest is for a... Um, there's an event going on called the Lost Pages event. I don't really want to do anything with that right now. Oh, can I help you? Diego the Duel Master seeks information about a wooden skeleton lock. Why, that happens to be my field of expertise. Skeleton locks are enchanted doors that can only be opened by a corresponding key. Thus, Diego's wooden lock requires a wooden skeleton key. <laughs> but those keys are typically quite difficult to come by, coveted as they are by what I call bad folk. And they shatter after only one use. Fortunately for you, I have a wooden skeleton key I can part with if you take this key ring with you on your adventures. The key ring detects nearby skeleton keys and sends data back to me for my continuing research. <laughs> Plus, it will mark your map with key locations. Well, I bid you and Diego good luck with whatever waits behind that wooden skeleton lock. I'm counting on you to explore the entire spiral. <laughs> you found your first skeleton key. These enchanted keys unlock powerfully warded doors, behind which you'll discover great rewards. Different types of skeleton keys will open different kinds of locks, so pay attention. And each skeleton key can only be used once. Remember that great reward is often won only through great risk, so be wary of the monsters you discover behind locked doors. Yeah, they're meant to be... They're pretty much like a challenge dungeon, but... Well, that's exactly... It's a challenge fight. The person, the uh, creature that's behind it is going to be pretty... should be a pretty difficult fight, typically. And they have a set, um, like, they have a set reward pool that you can pull from, that you can get from. And some, with some of the uh, gold key doors being almost integral, uh, if you're going for, like, best, best in slot gear for a certain number of levels. You're back! What did the librarian's assistant say? Mm, we need a wooden skeleton key? Of course! Curse this bad luck! What's that? The librarian's assistant gave you a wooden skeleton key? I knew you'd come through for me! That's why I hate to beg another favor of you. Will you duel Roberto and recover my precious heirloom? Let me explain. As much as I would love to battle my brother, honor forbids it. You see, Roberto and I both made an oath to our mother on her deathbed that we would never take up arms against family, so I cannot fight him. However, we also made an oath to our father on his deathbed that we never back down from a challenge, <laughs> so I must fight him. You see my difficulty, eh? Roberto stole the heirloom knowing I'd be unable to personally retaliate, but there is no dishonor if I send a proxy. Especially not if that proxy is my most prized pupil who learned everything they know about dueling from me! <laughs> Will you do it? Uh-huh. Everything we know. Thank you, my friend. You can find Roberto in his hidden lair. I'll mark your map. Yes, yeah, so his hidden lair, as you can see, is in an old town. Uh, this is not, not an overly difficult fight. And if I remember, the best reward you can potentially get from Roberto is 
his uh, his weapon. It's a his rapier, which is more of a cosmetic item used for item stitching than anything else. In the handful of times I've fought Roberto, uh, which is pretty much like once per character, I never actually go back to take him on again. Um, I have not gotten it yet. But maybe this will be the day. Maybe this will be the day. Either way, it's an easy, like I said, it's an easy enough fight. It's not meant, it's not supposed to be a difficult fight. Because this is your introduction to the uh, skeleton key mechanic. So, yeah, not too bad. Definitely not something, definitely not something you should really need people to fight with, I think. I don't know. It's always up, up to uh, your decision. Alright, he's this house all the way down at the bottom, close to Firecat Alley. Okay, we just passed it, but again, I see a reagent, I gotta pick it up. Anyway, go ahead and take it on. Thankfully no one's here to... Yeah. Actually, if someone were to join us in this fight, I wouldn't mind. It really yeah, wouldn't bother me at all. But So yeah, come in here. That's the lock. There we go. And to Roberto. He's a rank 2 fire boss. So yeah, really not that bad. <laughs> You've lobbed right into my trap, my foolish bra. Wait, you are not my brother. It's the whole evil twin type thing. He even has an eye patch, has an eye patch, and everything. Does that coward Diego send a child to fight his battles? So be it. All right, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Like I said, he's not he's not overly difficult to take on. He gets to start first, which is a little unfortunate, but 350 HP again. Yeah, not not too bad. Go ahead and hit him with my item card death trap. Kind of trying to set up here. I don't think I'm not going to need the faint, so I'm not going to do that. I don't actually know if he has any rank. Um, if he has any rank two spells, I'm not sure now. Really, nothing yet. Jeez. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this. I'm kind of hoping that I can hit him with a banshee. That'd be great. Yeah, fire cat every time. This is not impressive. Enough. There we are. Banshee. Oh, he skipped. Enough. Here, give the baby his oh, cool. boy back. I only stole it to irk him, but it's no fun if I don't get to see the look on his stupid face. Besides, he clearly isn't lucky at all. Couldn't even help me defeat a lowly whelp like you. Just take the piece of junk and get out! Get out of here! <laughs> all right. That's not... That's not too good. Um, though I've, n I've never received the badge before. I wonder, I don't know if that's a new thing that, that, that the, uh, that King's Isle added, like, with an update, 
or if it's because I took him out in one hit. I don't know. I'm, I'm checking around, if you're wondering. I'm checking around just in case there's anything that you can pick up that's like a housing item. I don't think so. I don't remember. But nothing is, nothing's popping up yet. Oops. There we go. Nope, nothing. I mean, nothing looks out of place, so I'm guessing not. Part of me does wonder if there was ever, if there's a continuation to this. I, you know, like, like very much later on, but I kind of doubt it. And if there is, I'll find out eventually. And that's that. Go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and feed that um, cloak that we got to and go ahead and feed this cloak to our pet. It is this one, right? Yeah. Ooh, fish fin, not bad, and a stone block. All right, well, that's that, I guess. Back to Diego. So we'll teleport to the commons fairly easy. Oh, while I'm here, actually, let me check, um, Hucky, you know, Lucky Hook line. I like checking the, um, fish of the day. Blue Armored Guard, I'm pretty sure that's a Sentinel fish. That's something else. Obviously can't get that, but, okay. That's at a, probably a much later world, so. Not gonna get that today, unfortunately. I kind of want my health to go all the way back up. Every couple seconds it'll tick for 15. There we go. So that didn't take too, that didn't take too long, did it? I actually don't really know of any other wooden skeleton key bosses that are worth I, mean, I don't know of any others so if I ever find more I might go back to fight Diego again because I would like to get his I would like to get his rapier but you've returned with my great grandsire's lucky unicorn shoe <laughs> I know that scoundrel Roberto would be no match for my favorite pupil it's a good thing the librarian's assistant that no one had ever heard of before <laughs> literally had the key to solving these problems no <laughs> oh, that is hilarious that is really funny. Indeed. <laughs> Just see, my friend, this unicorn shoe brings luck to everyone. Well, for everyone but Roberto, that is. <laughs> hey, thank you again. All right, so that is that taken care of. Now, what were we doing? War horns. That's right. We were working on taking out some war horns. The private Emerson has something for us, so let's head back to Cyclops Lane. Pretty sure Emerson's quest has to do with taking out the other boss that's in that's on Cyclops Lane, because here's where uh, General Achilles will be, and then there's a boss here as well. So I'm pretty sure that's what his quest will be. General Achilles ain't the only Cyclops yep, to go is. rogue. Notorious criminal Aegis Maximus is lurking on this street as well. Stole the legendary Thunder Hammer, he did. Not that legendary Thunder Hammer. I <laughs> mean, the sculpture made by famous artist Pablo C. Thunder. <laughs> it's worth more than I make in a decade. That lanky Langbrain is probably using it to drive nails. Don't choose. He's likely just backing his old heart out down the street. Mind taking a look for me? Sure. If he's there, I'll get some guards to back you up. Sure, I'll go ahead and take this on. Uh, mainly because I don't... I don't remember if he... Who his minions are. They're either going to be Cyclops, uh, Legionnaires, or he could have a Warhorn as his minion, which would help towards our... Um, towards one of our quests. So... Yeah, I don't 
remember right off. I mean, either way, after we, after I beat him, I'll probably go ahead and just take on the Warhorns, so that I can turn all of that, all those quests in right there. Anything else? Anything else? No, no. Ah, there we are. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna guess he he probably has. Um... Oh, actually, before I go into that, this little feature up here. This is what I was talking about earlier. You can go into this team up, and then people can try to join your fight from uh, the kiosk in Old Town. It's actually a really great system, and I'm glad that they implemented it. It's been, I mean, it's probably, I think it's been implemented for a long time now, but back, you know, 15 years ago when I first played this game, uh, they didn't have anything like that. You ha So you had to wait and hope. Oh, he does have a horn. So that's, that's, that's good. That's fortuitous. Who are you? Can you make this thunder hammer do thunder? No? Then you're no use to me. Alright. I don't remember how much health Warhorns have. What do you got? 285s. Oh, we actually got a, um, nice. 285, 350. Okay. Wow, they really want me to have... The life hires, don't they? Oh, double trap. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of a few of these. Um, I'm gonna do another death trap, I guess. Seriously? Oh wait, is that a... No. Thankfully those are all the same same myth trap, so they don't trigger multiple times. That would be rather unfortunate. Alright, uh this is getting a little ridiculous. I'm not gonna cast I'm not gonna cast this in that in this fight. Probably won't need a second that other death trap, so. Oof, his three times hit, that's gonna hurt. Oof, that did a lot. I need a I need to pull a ghoul. Yeah, I could really use a ghoul right about now. Excellent, thank you. Pretty significant damage. Again with these. Might have to start limiting how many of those I have. Another trap. Hey, there we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Banshee here instead of Ghoul. I'd rather just take it out. Sure. 
No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to turn that in. I'm gonna go ahead because we have two more warhorns to fight to finish off the main quest, and one more to fight to finish off another side quest. So health, health and mana, health and mana. There we are. Now to fight some more warhorns. Like I said, just need two more. And now this won't be nearly as bad, fighting one at a time. kind of surprised um, I don't think that's enough I don't remember if that's enough we'll do the ghoul just I don't remember if 105% uh, boost is enough oh, very much is very much is enough alright that is that done and that completed our grab the maze books, so that's good. Now we just need to fight one more. Alright. Then we can turn all of that in at once. Oh, so our opponent gets to go first. I see how it is. it off. A ghoul. Maybe. Again, this is only going to be 70% boost, so... Man, that's a fizzle. I saw it. I saw it coming. In the middle of it is a big black blob, blob, is what it was. Um... Eh. Yeah, let's go ahead and just Banshee. That was another one. I saw that. That's that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Just fine. Oh, that's right. They want us to talk to Romulus. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and go talk to him. Mainly because I don't, I don't know if it's gonna send us back. Like if they want us to go, if they'll want us to go back to the plaza before we take on, um, before we take on Achilles. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. So we'll go ahead and go talk to him. Besides, we can also just teleport back with a teleport hub. A couple of mandrakes, nice. Before I talk to you, let's check this side for some mist wood. 
All right, Ronnie, that's what you got. I saw you defeat the Warhorns, wizard. But can you defeat Achilles himself? I hope so. <laughs> he just hasn't been the same since that undead monster came in. I'll be honest with you. It scares me, wizard. Someone needs to save General Achilles from himself. Can you do it? Then go inside, and good luck. All right, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and fight him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take care of this. One of you comes to face me at last. Know this. I see Cyclops Wade, but it was not my choice. And there's another the history of myth magic right over there, so we'll be reading that once we're done here. It was mine. No, down here, <laughs> near the ground. Yes, me. Fear me. For I am a prince of Darkmoor. Cursed to be a bunny. Beaten by a vampire. Then drop between physical and spiritual planes. That's a lot on your plate. I am a ghostly vampire bunny. And I once tried to control Lizard City with my hypnotic gaze. Alas, I was sealed in the caves with the other undead. But Malice there destroyed our prison, sent us to cause chaos. And then his brother provided an easily swayed army of trolls and cow things. Sadly, yours is too keen an intellect to fall for my diabolical cuteness. So instead, sit down, General! <laughs> Alright then. Oh good, I get to start. Let's see. 470, 235. Yeah, let's just start setting up. Cool. I do have my ghoul. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep setting up. Should be enough, and if it's not, it'll it'll just be one. Uh, it'll just be one wand hit, wand hit. So it shouldn't be too bad. Yep, just one wand hit, not too bad. That's the jam taken care of. This shouldn't be too hard now. Um, if I had pulled a banshee, that would have been better, but I am gonna. Deathblade, because I know I know a single cast of Ghoul won't be enough. It does 180 with my 
natural bonuses. You never know, I might pull Banshee. <laughs> nice. brought Achilles to heal doesn't matter. As long as my influence remains over Cyclops Lane, I will never fade. He's right, you know. His flaws keep him tethered to the physical world, but if he lost them, he'd fade back to the Nexus twixt life and death. I'm telling you this because I never liked that bunny. I took Cyclops Lane as a distraction from Malister's plan, whatever that is. We Cyclops are an honorable people, and I was honor-bound to Malastair for saving my life from a rogue optometrist. <laughs> now, I'm honor-bound to you. An optometrist? Seriously? The Great would seize the watching eyes, our security system, turning them into hypno-eyes to lull all the minions on the street, all at once. Even now, these crystal balls maintain his bewitching days. Destroy them. And his influence over this street will disappear. Oh, you mean, you mean this crystal ball right here that you're not doing anything to defend? This isn't the end of me, Wizard. I'll be back. Ours will be a rivalry for the ages. You'll see. One day, the Great One will return. <laughs> he probably won't return. And his thrall should slowly return to normal. I vow I will honor my word and restore order to this street. Alright. Yeah, before we head out to go talk to Noland, let's go ahead and pick up this. In its most rarefied form, myth is the magic of the mind, the energy of thought and imagination. But in its current application, the myth school is relatively young, relying as it does on fables and legends that needed first to be written. Conjuration was discovered by a bard named Jack Stanley Kane, who sang a troll song so well, the troll came to life and attacked the audience. The performance received mixed reviews, <laughs> but the monster summoning was embraced by everyone from tyrants to toddlers, and remains in practice today. Huh. That is a little interesting. I'm just, again, curious. Is there anything that I can pick up? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that door actually opened. Okay. Anything over here? Oh, nope. It shows it's open, but it's not. That's fine. Uh, not gonna... Obviously, I'm not going to pay any crowns to try to get some of his other drops. It's just, it's just not worth it. All right, back we go to Nolan and everyone else to turn in some quests. All right, um, let's get our health back up first. No, you don't, like I said, you don't see blue mana nearly as often as you do red, clearly. I wouldn't mind picking that up as well. I like I like my mana being topped off as much as possible. It just it's just what I prefer. There we go. Alright, back to Festival Plaza. That was easy. Oh, everybody's got quests for us now. Yay. <laughs> I heard we arrested Ius Maximus thanks to you. How'd I hear? Messenger Grackles. Standard practice, really. I'll take this work of art back to Pablo Thunder. He's been real emotional about it. Creative types, right? <laughs> and that's that. Let's go ahead and talk to Rosie. You. And see, it says right on the front, maze book, not labyrinth, no guardian necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Silly warhorns. That's hers done. I'm going to go ahead and, and turn in the story quest before I pick up Electra and Garrix. Garrix has to do with picking up 
uh, I believe it's all their spell books. Which is again using your pet to go around this grassy area, the entirety of this grassy area to pick up things. Ooh, a silver chest. Alright, let's do this. Let's see. Is it going to be the other minigame? Nope, Shock a Lock. This is actually my preferred minigame. But anyway, let's get to it. I tend to switch things around so it'll speed it up. Because, you know, these slow it down, those speed it up. Pretty easy. Alright, what do we get? A little bit of gold, treasure card for death trap, and another little leprechaun. Great. Something I'll probably never use. That's alright. The trolls in Warhorn seem more docile now. I take it that means we were successful in defeating General Achilles. I was successful, but okay. More like this wizard was successful, bro. Doesn't look like you moved an inch since you got us captured. Thank you, Garrick. Now, now, let's not point fingers. We succeed and fail as a team. And I will report our success to Professor Drake as such a team effort. I'm sure you will. Whatever you say, Nolan. Wizard, you should head back to Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town and tell him Psychops Lane is under control. And I will do that. But, like, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up their quests. Hey, when the Manic Myth Minions grabbed us, they also stole our spellbook so we couldn't fight back. <laughs> Manic Myth Minions. Love it. Smart move, really. Otherwise, they'd have to deal with all this raw awesome, or, uh, raw awesome, as I sometimes mm. call myself. <laughs> oh, God. Super surfer dude. Please, no. Anyways, I heard the <laughs> Warhorns saying they buried our books somewhere around here. No idea where, but I have a plan to find out. Yeah, want me to use my pet? The gnarly thing is, though, I need a pet. They have the uh, Mucho Sensorinos, yo, and could sniff out the missing spell books, right? You got a pet, right, my whiz? Want to send it out to search Cyclops Lane to find our buried spell books? Should just be three, I think. But yeah, I can do that. I can do that, no problem. But let's grab hers. I think I think Electra's kind of requires us to go around a little bit. Before the Cyclopes went mad, there was going to be a then fair. You know, everyone in fancy dress pretending to live in the past. Oh, God. <laughs> Never been to one myself, but I've heard mixed things. That's what these tents were for, but I guess they barely started setting up before everything went off the rails. Then Fair is one of my all-time favorite events of the year. Can you convince some merchants in the shopping district that it's safe to return? Sure. Ask Victor Darkwood about costumes, Lloyd Fallingwater about stands, and Pierre Gallatmain about prizes. That's easy enough. I'm actually going to go ahead and mark this location so that I can teleport back to her fairly easy. But I do want this equipped first. Uh, let's start on this. I'm going to start on this side. That's our... Okay. Yeah, there's one right over here. I so said they should just be in this area since this is predominantly the only uh, grassy area, which is where um, this stuff is hidden typically. So not one on this side. Nothing over there. Should be one up here, I think. Yeah, it's right over here. And then the last one should be over there. I really wish you could pick up reagents in your pet, as your pet, just so I didn't have to go in and out of those, but it's fine. Alright, that's this one. Nice. And that's those. 
Alright. Now to turn this into Garrick, and then we'll head to the sh and then we'll head back to Old Town. You found all the spell books? Oh rock. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh mm. they're a bit on the dirty side. That's nothing a tempest spell can't stop. Many thanks, my whiz. And uh tell the undead to watch out, cause Captain Rossum is back. Oh, the cringe is powerful with this one. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get back to Old Town so I can turn this into Maldoon. Yeah, there's a, just a handful of things I want to take care of. Just a hand th handful of things I want to take care of, probably before I wrap up. Um, we'll start. We'll start Firecat Alley in the next episode. But go ahead and grab the deep mushroom. This is the kiosk. I was talking about the join a team kiosk. All right, Sergeant. I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten something for that yet. But anyway, General Achilles is back and down. Good. Then maybe he can do the job he promised to do and maintain order on Cyclops Lane. Though it may take a while with all the creatures roaming around there now. Good work all the same, wizard. Right, that's that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, Balder Golden Paws will have something for us eventually. I think... I think you have to complete the three streets before he does. Okay. I was just checking to see if the um, membership bonus thing was still going. It is. Alright, now let's go ahead and finish this up. Eleanor, so... No other side quests available to us except for the ones on Firecat Alley. Alright, first off, to Victor. Just went right by him. Welcome to Darkwood's Apparel Barrel, where... Ah, oh, it's you. <laughs> Did Cyrus complain about his laundry? Figures. You want me to provide costumes for the then fair, huh? Well, I do enjoy making those old-timey clothes. Nice change of pace. But I heard about all the problems on Cyclops... Oh, you handled it. Well, look at you. Eh, sure then, I'll make them then costumes. Nice. Welcome, customers. To do or DIY, <laughs> where your home is your castle, if you build it yourself. Ah, the then fair is back on? Great! I'll start chopping the wood and forging the nails I'll need to build the merchant stands post haste. Whoops, uh, wrong button. Buy something and then quickly depart my presence. <laughs> Jeez. The then fair? <laughs> that silly little harlequinade of infants and imbeciles dressed as cavemen or something equally regressive? We, oui, I can participate. Okay, <laughs> all right then. Alas, my prize rings have been stolen. The rings to fire. Ice, wind, dirt, and the fifth one. But I care not for it. I spit on its name. Pitsy. Jeez. The guards, such as they are, found the thieves in houses on the Unicorn Way, Triton Avenue, Cyclops Lane, and the Dark Cave. That's easy enough to take care of. If you wish prizes for the then fair, Recover those rings and take them to the girl who sent you. 
This is actually yeah, kind of a small, a small little quest that has in, that has kind of uh, interesting lore implications. Well, not not really, but you know what I mean. And yeah, while I'm here, uh, martyrs raiment. This is what the old default um, wizard clothing used to look like, and I, I, I thought it was really cool. I thought it, I thought it was cool at the time. Hmm, parchment, nice. Is that it? I can't use this. This is a life school. Can't use it. So goodbye. Nothing else. Excellent. All right. So we'll do them in order. Unicorn Lane, Triton Avenue, or Unicorn Way, excuse me. Triton Avenue, Cyclops Lane, Dark Cave, and then they, they'll send you to another one. And I can't remember where that other, I can't remember where the fifth one is. But all fairly, fairly easy fights. They are, I think, four different boss fights, or potentially five different boss fights. So. Yeah, not too bad. I just like it gives you a reason to go back to Unicorn Way. It's the it's this door right here. All right, easy enough. I was just trying to see what side of the road it was on. Yep, I see the blue door right over there. enemy I don't remember I don't remember how strong these guys are 180 yeah nothing go ahead I'll, uh, major life ire to get rid of the lost soul to do exactly the amount of damage I need to do. Ah, oh, it's gonna fail. Yeah, I saw it. I hate that. Fine. We'll overkill.
go ahead and take the teleporter to get there. Should be faster, easier. And I believe it's on, yes, on the right side of the road. Yep, right up here. Ring of water. Let this one's even your weaker. Power to create the destroyer that will end this corrupted world. Who are you? Can't you see I'm busy here? It's rude to interrupt, you know, and rudeness must be punished. What are you at? You're only at rank 1, 135. Nothing. Let's see if we can get the, the ghoul to go off this time. There we go. seem to hate the fifth element so much. I don't know what's up I don't know what's up with that. My incantation was complete. The ring of water is powerless now, so you can have it. Word to your funeral. Jeez. Alright, Cyclops Lane is next. he sell? Okay, so he's just another uh, reagent merchant. Okay. I wasn't sure if he had anything unique or not. Alright. Cyclops Lane. I guess I could just... I guess we could just teleport, couldn't I? Yeah, let's just teleport. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Fear of gentle breezes. We are the shivering during a storm warning. The lump in the back of your throat during a small earthquake. We are the inconvenience of every snowfall. But we are nothing compared to what's coming meaningless in the wake of the destroyer, the disaster made for us. Sure. Okay. 
Uh, being a rank to death, I don't know if it'll have a resistance or not, but we'll see. 105. Uh, I mean, if it does, I'll just hit it with a banshee. Since I was able to get a power pip on my first turn. So yeah, I'll just hit it with a banshee. Throat lossage. You sound a bit raspy. I feel bad for the uh, for the voice actor that had to do that kind of talking. of the destroyer should have a witness someone to go blind in the light of his glory my fellows already imbued him with the power over fire water and wind and i have given him all the power of the ring of dirt there's only one ring left the fifth ring the oft forgotten ring of guts guts all right it's super important, though. It's what makes him a physical thing that can destroy, not just swirling energy. So, Ring of Guts, activate! Oh, good, so we only have to fight. He's the last one. Good, good, good. Is, is it activating? I don't think it's activating. Lousy ring probably only works if you have working guts. And him being an undead ghoul, yeah. Hey, you look alive. Wanna help me out here? Either you do it, or I'll make you do it. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's see if you can. Two hundred, actually. Nice. What? Oh, wrong spell. I could just hit it with a ghoul into a into that, but I uh. <laughs> using higher level spells is more fun. Which is 
why I'm actually going to use Banshee. <laughs> ah, it's a fizzle. Uh, that's annoying. But fine. If the game wants me to use Ghoul, I'll use Ghoul. Ooh! A level 2 spell. you to help me create the destroyer come on it'll be fun no fine fine sheesh calm down a simple no would have sufficed and don't worry about all that energy without a body it'll disperse on its own now take the rings of dirt and guts and go do whatever you are going to do with them and they just yeah then they just disappear no, no nothing to, no um, consequences for them, nothing. It's just, just gone. <laughs> it's like, really? Well, it's more funny than anything. Let's take these back to Electra. And that should be that, and that should also be a level up for us. I think. We're gonna get what? Uh, 345 for this. And, yeah. Oh, no, it won't. It'll just miss. Wow. We'll just miss out on our, on our, on our level. That's too bad. Yeah, it's, I guess it's fine. Uh, I could always fight a couple things to get, to get it up. Yeah, it'll be fine. All the shopkeepers agreed to help us, and you stopped Angry Ghosts from destroying the world? Yeah. This is shaping up to be the best then <laughs> fair ever. Right. Oh, and you even have rings we can give out as prizes. Let's see. Dirt, fire, wind, water, and guts? Like, actual guts? Neat. Yeah, yeah. Let's just put that last one away. Thank you so much, wizard. Make sure to visit the then fair when it's up and running. How, how close are we? Wow, thirteen. You know what? Before I wrap up, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get this um, experience. I'm gonna so I can so I can get my level. Um, I should be able to I should be able to get it by fighting a couple uh, legionaries. I think. For a critical, nice. We had like a ten percent chance of that happening. And there's our level. 
refilled our health completely, refilled our mana completely, I will take it. But anyway, that should... Yep, Firecat Alley. Alright, that should be everything. So, let's go ahead and get back into Old Town. Like I said, I'm going to hold off on doing Firecat Alley just, you know, just yet. Um, we'll head in there at the beginning of the next episode. But, so yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and get down there. Get down there, show off the entrance and whatnot. So here it is. But with that, I am going to wrap things up for today. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.